Spirit of life, on this cold and frigid day, remind us of the brevity of all life, that it is important what we do, no matter how small or how large. And let us be warmed by the fact that we are still gathering here for Millard Fillmore's commemoration. For the better part of the 20th century through now 2015, local officials have been gathering annually to remember the life of our 13th U.S. president. When you think of the impending Civil War, uh, the Compromise 1850, the kids all know about that, um, how he tried to manage that situation. I think that's important. Be creative. Think about solutions. Don't just complain. And that's certainly something we want our students to, to know about. It's been my distinct honor and privilege uh, to present this wreath on behalf of the White House and President Barack Obama to President Fillmore. May he rest in eternal peace. Your vision and dedication gave rise to the Albright Knox Art Gallery, a museum that today is an American national treasure and home to one of the finest collections of modern and contemporary art in the world. There were no less than eight organizations represented today that he had a hand in founding here in Buffalo and, of course, um, in East Aurora as well. Today we're very proud to be uh, celebrating our 50th um, anniversary of carrying out this um, event. And it's very fitting that we are also this year celebrating moving the medical school back to the core of the city, uh, which is how uh, Miller Fillmore actually started the university. Now therefore be it resolved that I, Byron W. Brown, Mayor of the City of Buffalo, do hereby proclaim January 7, 2015, Millard Fillmore Day in the City of Buffalo and join my fellow citizens in celebrating his life and legacy and recognizing his contributions to Buffalo and Western New York. So today we honor one of those people who saw potential in our community. And may we do our best as stewards of our community today to continue Millard Fillmore's legacy of civic pride and community spirit.